Hello everyone, I'm the Dynamic Duelver, and today uh, I shall be talking about the recently uh, revealed information for this upcoming Christmas special for Doctor Who. Now today the information was released that River Song will be returning. And uh, now I'm going to discuss why I think this is a mistake. Why the character should stay in the Matt Smith era and not come into the Peter Cabody era of Doctor Who. Now when I first saw this information I was like, No! No! Why? Why would you do this, Stephen? Like, I didn't have the best reaction to this news. And I still don't. I think it's a mistake. I think she should just remain in the Matt Smith era. For many reasons why. I think she had a great ending in the Matt Smith era. Like, back in 2013, in the name of the Doctor, I think she had a great ending. Like, she got to say goodbye to the Doctor. Like, this this river song we saw in the name of the Doctor came from, was after In the Forest of the Dead, where she died. This was her data ghost. And she got to say goodbye to the Doctor, they had a nice moment, and I think that should have been the end of the character. Then recently, Big Finish said uh, they were going to uh, do new series stuff, and one of those audio adventures they confirmed was a River Song box set. And she was also going to be uh, walking alongside the Eighth Doctor in his own adventures, Doom Collation 2. And I think that was great, adding new series stuff to the classic series. I thought that was great. And uh, for the fans of River Song, they still get to have their own uh, box set with her in it, and they also got to see what, how she reacted to the Eighth Doctor. And um, I'm okay with that. Yes, I think Big Finish does great with one-off characters for Doctor Who. And River, River Song is a big character in Doctor Who. But having her going into the Peter Cavaldi era is a mistake. Now let's look back to a character in the series that should have that should never return, and we go to Rose Tyler. Now you might think this is a rant on Rose Tyler, but when she when Billy Piper left in season two of Doctor Who, I I thought that was a good ending. Like you have this person that loves the Doctor trapped forever in a universe and uh, she could never see her see him again and I thought that was a great idea a great ending to that character don't give it a happy ending like we knew that romance story was never going to have a happy ending but when she came back in season four we started to see the jealous side arose again and instead of that tragic ending that everyone thought was such an amazing ending that made people cry, well, I didn't cry, I don't even like Rose Tyler, but see, it made a, a lot of fangirls cry, then you ruin that ending by giving, a, give, like, having Rose Tyler return in season four finale and gave her a happy ending, like, had her own human version of the Doctor. And that ruins, like, the entire ending of season two. And uh, you see, it's kind of like the same thing with River Song here. You had a great ending, but now you're just bringing that character back for no reason. And what's the point in that? Yes, I get that they can still do a lot of stuff with it with this character, but you can also do a lot of stuff with Jack, and I don't see him returning, and there's still that entire Torchwood America Day ending to be resolved. Like, if they should bring back anyone, they should bring Jack back to resolve that ending. But instead they bring River Song into uh, the Christmas special. Now, I could be, like, maybe they would do uh, a great ending to this character again. Maybe we find out how River gets uh, future, the future Sonic. And that could be a, gr a good idea. Like, maybe this season, Cavaldi gets the future Sonic. And we get to say goodbye to River Song one last time. Hopefully. But, you see, there are two ways 
two reasons why Stephen Moffat is bringing back this character. One possibility is that he just really enjoys this character and just wants to put to see how uh, Alex Kingston acts alongside Peter Cavaldi. Or the second possibility, which I hope is more likely, that Clara died in the season finale and uh, River's there to help the Doctor cope with the death of Clara. Now this could be a great idea, like have the character trying to support the Doctor instead of flirting with him. That would be good. But if you just bring the character back just to flirt with the Doctor and just to slap him, that would just be like Matt Smith era. And uh, let's look back at P the first season of Peter Capaldi. We had loads of elements from the Matt Smith era. We had a few of the writers from Matt Smith era come into the Doctor into season eight. We had uh, we had uh, characters from the Matt Smith era going to season eight. Strax, Jenny, and uh, Vastra, Kate, and Osgood. And I, I think this is kind of a mistake. I think, I think Peter Cavaldi should have his own reoccurring characters throughout his run, run, create new characters that we would find interesting. Like the only reoccurring character so far in the Peter Cavaldi era is Rigsy from Flatline. Like he's going to be in season nine, but he's the only character so far from the Cavaldi era of Doctor Who to be a. Uh, a recurring character. Now I know many people will argue in the comments that, oh, but the Brigadier was in uh, the Second Doctor's era, the Third Doctor's era, the Fourth Doctor's era, the Seventh Doctor's era. He was even in the 20th anniversary special. Well, Doctor Who has loads of recurring characters throughout its era, and the Brigadier is a part of the history of the show. And yes, they introduced the Brigadier in uh, Patrick Troughton's era because they knew what they were going to do uh, when John Potter came. They needed uh, a team that would help the Third Doctor. And because the Third Doctor's era was such a huge, a great sense of adventure with the Brigadier in it, he became one of those characters that you could always count on to have the Doctor's back. And the reason why he was in the Fourth Doctor's era is beca because you couldn't get rid of the Brigadier, like, oh, Peter, like, John Perjol, has gone. Let's get rid of the unit. You had to slowly write them out, what they did in the Fourth Doctor's era. After his se second season, or was it, yeah, second season of Doctor Who, there was no more unit stories a tier like the Seventh Doctor era. And the Brigadier came back in the 20th anniversary because, well, it's the 20th anniversary. That's a huge thing. You needed loads of crucial characters to come back. And uh, the re and uh, having him walk along well, alongside the Seventh Doctor was unique. We haven't seen like a unit story in so long. And if you wanted to do new unit stories, you at least had to have the Brigadier in at least one of them. But with River Song, you don't get, like, a new uh, sense of generation, like with Unit. Like Stephen Moffat once said in an interview, you can uh, reuse the characters, but soon they get old, and he's just reusing River Song. Like, last year, he reused Bastra, Strax, and Jenny. And I think that was going to be the last time, because we don't see them in the season at all. Like, there's no news on any of those characters in Season 9. But River Song, I think her time's up. I think if you're just bringing her back, it would either be for a purpose or it's just there because Stephen Moffat wants to see how the two actors who played the Doctor and River Song work together. But you have to, but if you are doing if you are bringing these two characters together, do something new. Don't have them flirt. Don't have them, don't have River slap the Doctor. Do something interesting with this character. Don't just have her there just for the hell of it. 
Well, this has been my opinion on uh, the return of River Song for the Christmas special this year. I hope you agreed with this video, and if you do, like this video and subscribe. I'm the Dynamic Dover. Till next time.